Let's chat! Oh! So check this out, guys. I am in my office. I've got this Xbox controller. If I push buttons, I get to do different things. So check this out. If I click this, I'm super close up. It's really uncomfortable, right? It's really uncomfortable. And I back out. But it was kind of a rough transition. So if I hit this, I'm back in again. I'm zoomed in. My cat's trying to steal my tuna fish sandwich from Subway. Let's go back up. Now I'm back up. There's a lot of things going on right now. Anyway, what we're going to do today hey ben. is review a video while I try to play around with this controller. This is the first talk I did. First talk I uploaded. Let's be completely candid here. I think this could have been my third SC talk altogether. The lady in this uh, video is named... <laughs> I can't hear myself and talk at the same time. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Anyway, uh, her name is Sandy. She's a really nice lady. She, uh, I, I sold the video as a lady who believed that the world is flat. She did kind of believe that a little bit. So we ended up talking about why she believed that. And it ended up being that uh, she wasn't completely um, tied into the belief and just needed a good you know, motivational coach for reasonable thinking to get back on the reason train, on the reason party. Anyway, I I am happy to uh, break down the stock, see what was going on. Anyway, let's go to the beginning. Just like some people think the earth is flat. Yeah. Some people think it's round. Okay. So, but I don't know. Is it? Oh, whoa. Because whoa. I'm not out there. Yeah, That's absolutely. a great way to open up any video or any kind of conversation, I think. <laughs> oh, look at that logo. That was a while ago. It was a while ago since I used the logo where it was just text only. This was before I even found, like, that purple and green icon. Right here. All right. Anyway, let's set the right, scene. Sorry, it's like Sandy. March 18th. Sandy. Uh -huh. It's a really, really Sandy. cold day. Actually, it's not. It's been. This is video's fun. been let's older than a year. I can't believe we've been doing it for this long. afraid of talking to other people. Okay. Okay. Well, you're going to have to educate me on this a little well, bit. Well, you know, like when people see you, like people are afraid to talk to me because I have white silver hair. Okay. She has white silver hair. I'm getting uh -huh. there too, a little yeah. bit. You know, or just the way that you look. You oh, know, yeah, that's true. This is true, true, true. Sure. Sure. If you shaved your face or if you didn't shave your face. I did think she's a sweet lady. You have bad teeth or if you don't have bad teeth. Why do you think people go over Bad that? teeth. Because What's she saying? The way that people, they're not really judging people. I think it's just the way that they've grown up. Mm. The way that they've been brought up. They're afraid to talk to other people. So I think at, at this stage of the conversation, it's kind of rough because I normally get the soft everybody should be good to each other everyone should be happy with each other topics when we start out and those tend to be the ones from people who aren't completely comfortable in a uh, environment like this because i am just a guy at a table i got a random sign that says let's talk about whatever you want people are going to pick topics that they think you will automatically agree with in order to just have a very uh congenial conversation they're afraid to get to that that core uh, epistemology or methodologies, the, 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 the warm and fuzzies on the inside. So they stick with the warm and fuzzies on the outside and they go like, oh, you need to work out. Uh, you know, everyone should just be kind to each other. You gotta warn, we gotta learn how to dig. I wonder if even back at this time, if I knew how to dig to like the good stuff, <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. There's a way to do it. Let's see if I did it even back then. By the way, this contrast is really bad. It's really hard to get a white person and a black person with a single lighting source showing up in video with the same degree of contrast. Yeah, it was a learning skill on my own. I had to learn how to do that. I had to learn you have to have different presets for different people based on the color of their skin. Hey, who knew video editing is racist? You got to deal with it. You got to live in the world you're living. Anyway, let's go. Do you, are different. do you think there's ever a chance where those kinds of immediate first impressions could actually be an accurate assessment of what that oh i am supporting racism let's go <laughs> i know where i'm going with this so basically i'm asking do you think there's ever a time where those immediate biases that you have those stereotypes you have are actually valid to have now we're beginning to move the gears a little bit let's see where we go with this no 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 okay. so I, 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 because you know me, everybody's never knows what anybody is going through or talking you know mm. or thinking or I could be like the nicest person in the world okay and look 
just like I'm mean or mad. You brought up an interesting subject, Ben. How? What is the best way to figure out something that's talking to them? Talking. To cool. Okay. So now we've moved from just the, you know, everybody should get along with each other to, what is a good methodology to figure out something about a person? To figure out if they are safe to talk to, if they're not the safe to talk to, if your initial biases are accurate or not. What's that methodology that you use? We're getting closer to a, 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 a conversation based around an epistemology. I think it's good. To someone? Yes. You want that first one on one experience? Yeah. What if I was just a very, very charming, nice guy out here, but I'm like actually planning something nefariously evil when I get that? Nefariously evil? Oh my gosh. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. That's what I'm saying. Okay. You never know. Evil. You never Let's know. Go. Okay. Yeah. All right. But it's worth the talk then, I guess, would you say? Yeah. Okay. But I would never, ever really know. I mean, you just don't know until you, you, it takes a long time to really get to know somebody. You know, some of the, oh, I feel like we're digging into gold. Why did I talk then? Sometimes pregnant pauses are really good. I think, I bet if I didn't say anything right at that point, we would have gone somewhere really interesting. The best anyway. conversations I have are with people who strongly do believe that they know something. Uh, is there anything that you strongly believe that you know? Anything that? Yeah, I feel like I got a little impatient here. I think if I just didn't say anything at all. See, that's just, that's one of the things. Sometimes you can really move a conversation forward if you are silent compared to trying to drive it towards a direction. And at this point, I'm trying to drive it towards a really strong uh, confidence claim. And if I had just stayed quiet, I think we would have gone to some really interesting territory right here. She was, I feel like there was like a really nice emotional statement that she let out. Also, that dog is super nice. Look how chill this dog is. Anyway, let's go. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely she nothing. She is confident about absolutely Whoa, nothing. that's very cool. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely. Absolute, you're absolutely. <laughs> I'm absolutely comfortable with knowing nothing. I love this. You're absolutely comfortable knowing that you don't know anything. <laughs> yes. Are you very confident that you don't know anything right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my you, gosh. Um, who does know? Who does know like anything? Anything. What so it I is said, important. Uh, so this isn't the first time I've had these conversations, but this is the first time I've recorded a conversation like this. I think it is important. Past Tyrone, I hope you did this. I hope you asked, what does she mean by knowing? Because I think that's an interesting idea. Because she might be saying, I don't know anything. But she might have a complete definition of what she means by know. And if we're using different definitions with the same vocabulary, we're talking past each other. So let's get, let's get to the bottom of it. I know you can do it. Let's do it. Because I think something's real. Yeah. May not uh -huh. be real to the other person. Okay. 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 If I were to say, for example, I had like a, a box of Tic Tacs here, uh -huh. and there could be an even or odd number of Tic Tacs, right? Right. And if we were to count them out and said, I don't know, there's ten Tic Tacs in this container, we know it's even, right? Uh huh. But if some if someone came up here to this table and was like, Well, I'm looking at that bag of Tic Tacs, and I count an odd number. Could we say that we're both correct? Yeah, because you know. Oh, geez. So this, that is the first time I, that's probably the first and only time I've ever used the Tic Tac example. I might have used it again some other time. I find it to be a little abstract. <laughs> Particularly when you're dealing with conversations that are based in abstraction. But it is the idea of like, hey, man, if two people are disagreeing about something, can we, and they're, and they aren't agreeing with each other at all. They have the opposite position on a on a on a position, right? Uh, can they both be right? And if it's something as objective as a the number of something being even or odd, is there room for at least one person to be wrong? Like, or because how can you say they're both right or wrong? How do you do that? Tell me what you do. I really want to know. You how do you handle this? Around, I could have eaten one. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, she's changing you the rules. Right. She's changing the rules. But if you did it, if you did it, it was in that container. Is it possible for some two people to have completely different ideas about something and both be correct? Yeah. I'm getting that body language where she's about to say yes. Why do you, well, why do you think that? Let her think. 
Just like some people think the Earth is flat. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Some people think it's round. Okay. So, but I don't know. <laughs> is it? Oh. Is whoa. it? Well, I'm not out there. Is it? I don't really know. I only know from the scientific information that I get. Uh, okay. And then the, oh. I don't know what they're called, but the people think that the world is flat. Yeah. They think that flat they earthers? know from the information that they know. Okay. So mm. because there is a yeah. Does the disagreement itself invalidate the evidence? Or yeah. Oh, do you think listening to I got a I have a smooth silver tongue on that. I would not have been able to handle this that well this now. What did even I say? Oh my gosh, see, I'm not good with words. All right, let's What did I say that again? I'm just repl I'm just replaying it back again. I, yeah. I got to take notes. I don't know what they're called, but the people think that the world is flat. Yeah. They think that they know from the information that they know. Okay, so because there is a disagreement. Yeah. Does the disagreement itself invalidate the evidence? Does the disagreement itself invalidate the evidence? I'm going to remember that. <laughs> Do you think listening to the evidence is better than listening to people argue about the subject? Yes. Okay. So oh. When you argue, you don't really, you know, you form more of a, I'm right. Sure. You can get you know, And that's invested. what creates a war. <laughs> Where did she go whoa, up with that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe that's she's right. Maybe she's idea, right. Sandy. Yes. I like these. Do, Maybe she's right. What do you think right. about... Um, what do you think is the best reliable method that we have right now for like coming to like a true conclusion about something? Letting everybody believe whatever they want. Letting everyone believe. I did not they expect want. her to say that. I wish I could talk it's been a while since I've seen this conversation. Letting everyone believe whatever they want to believe. <sighs> Maybe I should do this again. All right, we're 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 gonna transition. Oh, geez. All right, let's transition. Oh, okay. <laughs> For a long time. Is that That's good? Great. So, all right. If someone believed uh, that bottled water was the same thing as gasoline, would that be a good way for them to get to work in the morning with a bottle of Aquafina, for example? It could, because if you had the the look how strong I am. I gotta watch out. Anyway, that bottled water example, I like that example, and I keep forgetting to use that. But it's basically our relevant truths, a uh, reliable way to operate in reality. If I believe that gasoline and bottled water are the exact same thing, would I be able to pour Aquafina? Or how far would I be able to drive on a gas tank full of Aquafina, right? It's one of those questions that just make it pretty obvious that, you know, believing whatever you want to believe isn't enough. It's not enough. We like to believe it is, but you know, <laughs> we live in a world where we got to do the best we can with the information we got. And sometimes believing that we have more cars than we do isn't necessarily the case. My cat is scratching himself up a storm. Let's go. Machine that would run an aqua? Like a hydro cell? Yes. Okay. It but would get you there. If they had a standard engine car and they believe that it would work even on a standard Well, standard they could believe car? it would. But if they put it in there, they go, and then it changes their, oh, well, I guess ah, that doesn't work. Oh, ah, I see. So they would have to make the observation that They'd it didn't work. They'd have to make their own observations. They'd have to make their own observations. I wonder if that defeats her original claim. They'd have to make their own observations. Hmm. I feel like that's not explicit enough for her to realize that just believing whatever you want is, isn't necessarily ideal. I wonder if I push it further than just this. So it may not just be believing it, but like actually testing the belief yes. is probably okay. okay. Good Very correction, cool. Ty. <laughs> what good. Point? That is like the perfect tiny little push. That was good. I didn't know where I would have gone from there if I did this now. I don't. This is like brand new territory for me. But if I was having that kind of conversation, I wouldn't know what I would say to continue to push the belief forward. But I feel like that was probably. A really good way to do it. Um, <laughs> all I'm doing is praising myself. Let me see. What could I do better? What could I have done better? Um, the bottled water gasoline example. Um, I, like, I feel like there's a way to deliver that example without sounding nearly as, I don't know, what's the right word for it? Robotic? <laughs> I feel like I can give that out in a much more conversational tone. And that helps to get the point across in a slightly... Um, more casual, but still uh, giving the person who's I'm asking this question to more time to think, because uh, the way how I asked it right now sounded like it was coming off 
you know, like a, a clipboard or something like that. And that tends to get people guarded up a little bit more, which makes the answer come out a little bit faster. And if I'm robotic, I might get a robotic response. I want people to, you know, really think about what they're, th what they're saying. And if I just slow down a little bit, if I just slow down this whole conversation down a little bit, I probably would end ended up in a completely different area. But as far as just addressing the idea of relative truths and helping her get back on the idea that evidence is a really good way to back up beliefs, then that's good. You can believe what you want, but if you could test it, that's even better. Maybe that would be a nice way to like sum up that point. It's like, hey, I understand that you can believe whatever you want. I'm not arguing that, but if we could test our beliefs, that would be a really good way to know which beliefs were true or not. And I want to believe in true things too. What about you? Something like that would be great. Anyway, let's get back to it. Here. We're going to walk the dog. <laughs> She's going to walk the dog. <laughs> How long do you have that dog? Uh, oh, now I'm just talking about pets. Six months? Six months? I'm going to talk about my cat again. She is. She's so tiny. I would feel... So I have a cat. Yeah, what is this plane? <laughs> the cat dog. I got my cat leash trained as well. So oh my gosh. I love my cat so cat much. I as well. Vinny, I, I love you. A, uh, job where Vinny, I love you. My cat's literally right here. He's just like, he's just chilling out with me. So I raised the cat to be a dog, basically. Oh, man. He's totally fine with it. He's cool with it. How many videos have I talked about walking my cat? This is the, I'm going to count them. We're going to count it. This is the first video. Anyway, as soon as this plane goes by, we'll get right back into it. In the event that you can't test the belief. Okay, so here we go. I know I got maybe maybe at best 30 seconds more in this conversation before she's ready to go. She wants to walk her dog. She had another uh, friend of hers standing by, I remember. And I, um, I don't know if she had a dog too, but like, I don't have a lot of time left in this conversation. And I want to ask a question that's meaningful. I can see myself getting very serious here. My body language is all pensive. And I'm wondering what comes out. I don't know what's going to come out, but let's figure it out. Let's hope. Let's go. In the event that you can't test a belief, even one that you want to believe, and even one something that you want to believe is true, uh, and your your only best answer that you have is I don't know because I don't know everything, do you think that's a good place to just leave it off at until you get better evidence? Cool. Or do you think you should like make a leap of faith or something like that? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what she's going to say. So I basically asked her, do you think I don't know is a good answer to have when you don't know something and a good position, a good answer to give until you can get better evidence? And she said, yes. And now I'm asking her, do you, or do you think it's better to take a leap of faith? Use that F bomb. <laughs> I dropped that F bomb. Let's go. So uh, I don't know what she says. We'll see what she says. Is it better to take a leap of faith? What is she going to say? No. Oh, let's go, Sandy! I like that answer. Nice. Go about what you're doing, be who you are, and whatever comes up, and then just be happy. Nice. <laughs> What's happening? Nice. And then if it doesn't work, well, then you go, okay, I'll either test it, uh -huh. or I'll just move on. Nice. Boom. Very cool. Hey, that's not Sandy, bad. Wonderful conversation with you. Get in there. This is America. <laughs> wow. I can't believe that was one of her stocks. That's really great. Got that high five and everything. Very nice. Okay, good job, Ty. That's not bad. I enjoyed that. That was really good. Okay, so like I said, um, my goal is uh, to hopefully speed up the production of videos by doing, you know, short videos like this and uh, summarizing them. Let me know what you think. This is still a work in progress. But anyway, thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway. <laughs>